Hey y'all, what's going on? It's JP with JP's Curtain Call. CJ's not here in this episode, but that's okay. We have a special treat for you, by the way. Remember how I told you we're gonna change the episodes up? Yes, we are. So, tomorrow, Sunday's video, we will have a challenge for CJ versus JP in a pack opening battle where the loser gets punished. Find out about that. Wow, I have a ghost in here. There is stuff flying at me. We're gonna leave it in the video, but anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> so, today, we are still looking for Zeroth Dragon Death. Oh, I messed it up. See, CJ can't get it, and I can't, I can't get it today either. <sighs> anyway, it is Zeroth Dragon of Death Garden Zoa. We still haven't gotten him. We still have 12 boxes of the case. I wanna finish this set so we can move on from it. I want to get to the premium collection as fast as possible because we have a lot going on, including the next stage, which is coming up very quickly. We got the trial decks. We'll do the trial decks. We got a special gift set, Colorful Pastoral, I think it is. That's for Bermuda Triangle. We're gonna do that, so stay tuned for that. If you like these videos, hit that big like and hit that subscribe if you're new to the video. And if I pointed the wrong direction, I'm directionally challenged, give me a break. But anyways, we are calling on the Pokemon gods here. We're channeling in on the Pokemon gods so we can finally get that Zeroth in this set because I said once we get them, we're moving on from this set. <sighs> Thank you, Eevee Evolutions. We're gonna put you aside while thinking about you the entire time doing this opening, attempting to get our card. <sighs> but yes, it has truly been a struggle trying to get this one card. And ironically, knowing my luck, it's going to be the last box in the entire case. And if it is, so be it. But let's hope that is not the case. Uh, once we do finish this set, we will be moving on to Premium Collection Revival Volume 2. I totally messed that name up too, but that's all right. Uh, honestly, there's not a lot of cards we're really looking for in here. I don't even think we got an Asha yet. We're looking for her for Neo Nectar. For the you know, next stage, we get that standard support. However, these are premium format cards, so eh, whatever. You know, everybody's still scared of that Zazan, but you know what? I'm gonna challenge y'all because I don't, I think I'll, I can beat them. I think I can beat them. I think you can beat them. I think people are overreacting. So when he comes out, you know, we'll have fun. We'll play test it. FYI, we officially started doing Discord battles. Uh, that's right, ladies and gents. JP learned the standard game thanks to Storm Soul Fighter. Shout out for you, buddy. And we officially are doing those tournaments. I am working on a time that works for both you and I in regards to, there's a reprint, the Appalachian Researcher Pond Belly, which we didn't get last time, but oh well. Uh, but you and I work out a time I will be setting office hours, right, where you can schedule and battle with me. Those times aren't totally determined yet, but we will get there. I'm guessing, let's be honest here. We're now gonna be continuing the Instagram lives and I've done a really bad job at advertising it so I don't expect a large turnout, which is fine. Uh, but if you're watching this video, Instagram live today, which is a Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you just convert that into your time zone and we will talk and do some announcements. We'll talk about the upcoming set, Silver Dust Blaze, if you haven't heard it already. I know all you big vanguarders already know what's going on, but for those not following necessarily, we can talk about 
we could talk about the new cards coming out, what you're looking forward to. I mean, I just got the announcement of the new Pale Moon set. That's going to be coming out October 3rd, 2020. Uh, so we'll be looking for that. But look what we got. We got an Evil Governor, Dark Face, Gridora, and a very good pull for our Mega Colony Editions uh, coming up as well. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. And I'll be honest, you tell me if you're watching this video, uh, our, our whole whopping five viewers, right? Maybe 10. Maybe we'll get lucky, we'll get 20. Uh, let me know who your favorite clan you're looking forward to on the release. And it can't be Kagero. No Kagero fans. You guys say Kagero, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something goofy to your comment. So, nah. <laughs> I only say that because there's way too many people psyched up about the X, which don't get me wrong, is a very cool combo coming out there. Uh, but don't you worry, those protect clans I think would be an effective defense against it, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be too worried. But uh, all right, but it doesn't matter. Let's keep moving. We only pulled one reprint, one triple rare. I think we get one more something. Um, we are done going over the artworks, making, poking fun at a few of them, no problem. Um, so that's why we are flying through these packs, trying to find the cool stuff. You watch. Okay, there's another triple rare, Intimidating Mutant King Darkface, Alicides. Cides. CDs. Yeah, anybody know what CDs are? <laughs> They're those things, you know, you put in uh, MP3 players or something like that. Everybody's like, no, what are you talking about? I always got a stick called an MP3 player. Yeah, look it up. Ancient history. <laughs> okay, so that's all we got in box number one. The Pokemon gods are failing me again. They couldn't get me Zacian still. But you, don't you worry, because we got to get a Zarath. This this cannot end. Uh, but tomorrow's challenge with CJ, it's gonna be really fun. We've been we've been talking about different punishments. Y'all been helping me on different punishments as well. I've been kind of dabbling in some of those. Uh, so get ready for some fun <laughs> and we can we can do some upward stakes uh, also you know we had that fun little youtuber challenge where JP did absolutely horrendous there has been another challenge we haven't determined what set we're gonna do yet I think we're I, I'm hoping fingers crossed for those of you who don't know what that means, it's it's a I hope for uh, something to do with an older set, something that I haven't particularly opened yet. Um, but I also don't want to spend like a <laughs> hundred dollars for one box. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm hoping we go that route. If we don't, then. Well, I want to do something we haven't done yet on channel, so that, that, that's that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, hopefully, we come to that conclusion, and we're going to have a three-way battle. So there's not there's going to be three different. Um, we're going to have three different boxes. There are three challenges. Whether we do one box or not, I don't know. That needs to be disclosed. But we're not quite sure where to go. <gasps> guys oh my gosh look at that though holy I love the uh, Zeroth effects in fact you know we're gonna we're gonna come back why I'm so amazed on this on this artwork we're gonna come back around to it you're not gonna know why but you will when I share my collection I promise with you uh, this is so cool but we finally got the Zeroth rare Zeroth Dragon of Death Garden Zoa. We'll make CJ say it one more time because she'll never remember it. Never does, right? I am so relieved. 
We did it. We did it. We don't have to get the box number 24. We can move on from this set and do stuff that's a little more relatable. But let's not stop. We'll, let's continue till we get through all three final Awakening Zoo boxes on channel. We're looking for you, Asha, because we ha I don't think we've pulled her a single time. And on top of that, I don't know if you can get, if this is one of those boxes where you only get two SP rares, maybe three in the, per case. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the rest off camera. And then after I'm done, if I get any other special parallel rares, I will share them with you. So keep your eyes peeled, uh, the next set. I think it's a great time because remember, we're finished with this set. You know what that means. There is a giveaway. And, and for those who like to siphon through the videos, unfortunately, they won't know we're talking about this because typically I like to put everything down and talk to the camera. So, for you guys out there who want the SP Astral Force rares, okay? They are both up for grabs in this giveaway. I am putting up a mystery third card, which will also be a special parallel rare. And how you are going to find the rest of the saying is you need to join our Discord and check the special words there. There will be one hint with the other set of the words. You're going to need them. It will not be easy. You might be able to word put them together, but if you do, great. But if you don't, I suggest you listen to the clues very carefully. That's all I'm telling you. And I imagine only about half of you who attempt this are gonna get this. So try hard and don't give up, okay? But I am so excited we finally got them. And that is probably one of the most beautiful Zeros of all of the Zeros in existence. I, I think, in my opinion, the most beautiful Zeros. So if you have a favorite Zeros, put it in the comments. I'll ask this question again when we get to my personal collection. But you can just put it now. We'll talk about it again later. Uh, I will go through very carefully some of my favorite artworks during that. I've been buying some up like a fiend, ladies and gents. And uh, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna complain about it. Seriously. Uh, there have been so many SPs I've purchased in the past few weeks, it's been ridiculous. Uh, like I've been buying collections, helping people out with rent, and any of the profit I've been making off that stuff, I'm just reinvesting in cards so I can share with you guys on channel. Um, but once again, YouTube views still low. Uh, that's okay. We're still going to move forward as if nothing is wrong. Uh, so don't you worry. If you're going back to work, be safe. Uh, just be smart. Every time I pull this card, I get excited because this guy maintains some value. Essentially, he almost pays for a box himself. So it's kind of a little bit of recover money because guys, there's absolutely no way I can make my money back on this set. There's, there's no chance. So yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed they get money cards. And there's only like, I don't know, three in the set. <laughs> I mean, Generation Rares, we, there's still one we didn't even pull a single time, which is absolute insanity in my opinion. Uh, but I apologize for also going too fast on the cards. I just want to get through this set, make it a nice short video. Let you guys know on the Vanguard Discord. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for those who, of you who are already on there. Uh, there is a small group of us who like to talk. Uh, as I promised, I am slowly becoming more involved. So I'm trying to make a point to get on there two times a day. So anybody who says anything, I'll check it out, read it, see if it requires responses, and I'll try to get back to you. The least I can do. Woo! I am so happy we're done with this set. You have no idea. For some reason, I was disappointed in the, the 
I don't know. The artworks are kind of cool. I think Me Mega Colony is by far the coolest in this set. Uh, but for some reason, I don't think a lot of people can relate to this to this direct uh, these clans because they're just not near as popular. Um, which, you know, whatever. <laughs> I know Great Natures actually sounds to be a very popular clan. Cool, right? But um, at the end of the day, there's just not enough interest. I don't. I think that's part of the reason why we're not getting views as well. Um, I don't think this was a very strong set. But it's all right. I think, in my opinion, I mean, it's a, it's, it's decent, but it's certainly not one of my favorite from what we've done on channel to date. Uh, so this is really cool. What this means, guys, is we finished Awakening Zoo finally. That's it. I'm doing no more on channel. I'm going to open the rest of the boxes off channel, and I will share with you if we get a special parallel rare. Uh, that will be at the beginning of the next video. That will be CJ in my challenge. Uh, so stay tuned for that challenge. I think you guys will like it. The first punishment isn't really that bad, but it's much worse than my glove punishment. And uh, <laughs> we'll get it all on channel. It'll be fun. I think we're gonna have a blast. And we're finally doing the Premium Collection Revival, Revival Volume 2. Oh my gosh, Revival Premium Collection Volume 2. Do I ever tell you, when I do these videos, I swear I'm always tired. I feel that's like the case. Every time I do one of these, I do it too late and I'm like, well, JP's probably gonna say something that don't make sense and, and it, always, it always happens every time. Ugh, anyway, maybe I gotta do one of those before every video. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Pokemon Gods, for finally coming through. You didn't get me a Zacian, but you got me a Zarath. So, thanks for that, and maybe we'll just have to rely on you again on another future video. But you have everything you need to give me the promo words. For those of you who don't know how the promo words work, this is for the end of the video for you guys who made it through. If you're new to the, the series, great welcome. Every time we do a opening series, from beginning to end, we will put in different words, phrases, hints, anything to match a specific phrase from the Vanguard anime or a Vanguard card. Okay, I'll give you a bunch of words, they're jumbled, so they do not follow the same the same exact uh, direction as I give them to you. They are mixed up. You need to unjumble them to make that phrase. In this particular one, I've given you hints on the first, and there's only two videos that have hints. That's how short this phrase is, but I will say this. It is from a specific clan. You got hints before on the timing of when this clan would have ruled, okay? Your hint today is there are several movies in a successful franchise that were made that really put these specific animals on the market, okay? That, that's, they made them marketable, they made them popular. Now it's obviously not this, the name of the clan, but that's the type of the animal to relate to the clan. That should be a dead giveaway, okay? So that's your hint to put together a phrase, because that's obviously what this is going to be, uh, but it's not from the anime, it's from a card, okay? And we have not opened up the set on camera, so it's gonna potentially require a little digging. This is a very short video today. I appreciate you hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun doing this. Remember, we're gonna have, you know, camera. I'm 
we're good. We're beyond the camera shyness anymore. So you're gonna see the real me, which is this kind of goofy character. And if you don't like me, just tune out. You know, just meh, go away. We don't really need you because we have a fun community and I want to keep it going. But that's all the time we have for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let's show you one more time our gorgeous, beautiful Zeroth Dragon of Death Garden Zoa. I love that. He is my favorite looking Zeroth. So cool. But we're going to end it there. That's all the time we have for today's episode, and we'll see you next time.